Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. At least three people are dead, three more critically hurt after a gunman opened fire inside a crowded shopping mall in Copenhagen, Denmark. The alleged shooter, described as a 22-year-old man, is in custody. Police are looking into a motive. A 75-year-old man shot and killed by Sacramento police overnight after they responded to a domestic violence call. Police say the man was reportedly trying to kill his wife and threatened officers with a knife before he was killed. The shooting is under investigation. El Dorado County officials have confirmed confirmed that one person drowned, another rescued this weekend at the South Fork of the American River near Folsom Lake. Investigators are looking into Saturday's house fire that burned four buildings in Olivehurst. Three of these homes were destroyed. Detectives have not yet released a cause. It's Independence Day. So let's talk about what's going on in America. Freedom is under attack in your state. That was Governor Newsom's new re-election ad aimed not at Californians, but Floridians. The 30-second spot set to air on Fox News starting tomorrow, it takes shots at Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and his policies. In November, California voters will decide on just seven ballot measures. That's the fewest to appear on a general election ballot since 2014. One was placed on the ballot by state lawmakers to decide whether to make abortion a constitutional right. Six more gathered enough verified signatures. At least six people are dead following this glacier collapse in the Italian Alps. This comes amid record high temperatures in the region. Search and rescue operations are underway. More devastating floods in Australia. This is aerial footage from southwest Sydney, where thousands of people have been ordered to evacuate. The flooding is the result of torrential rains and damaging winds pounding the east coast, an area hit hard back in March. President Biden will present the nation's highest civilian honor to 17 people next week, including OL Rain Captain and Reading Native Megan Rapino. She'll skip the United States World Cup qualifier against Jamaica on Thursday to accept the prestigious award. Rapino is the first soccer player to be given the Medal of Freedom. Smith Point Beach off Long Island, New York will be temporarily closed to swimmers after a veteran lifeguard was nipped by a shark this morning. It happened during a training exercise where the lifeguard was playing the role of a swimmer in distress. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.